In these questions, you have to count the number of blocks in a pile. Every block in the pile is the same size and shape. Some blocks are hidden from view, but you know they must be there to hold up the ones you can see. Select the answer choice that shows the correct number of blocks. In order to answer this question, we're going to count the number of blocks in this pile. The number of blocks will be represented by one of these five answer options. And we should remember that all of the blocks are the same size and shape, although some obviously are placed in different orientations to one another. We should try to count all of the blocks very accurately, and to help us do this, we can look at this diagram in closer detail. Like this. As you can see, some blocks are easier to count than others. Some blocks are not visible but must be present in order to support other blocks which are placed at a higher position. Blocks cannot be suspended in thin air. So, for example, you can see that this section of blocks must be supported by another block. The block which supports them is in the same orientation as this one. Imagine another block in this orientation immediately underneath these two. This would mean it would elevate the blocks to the height they're at, and of course the block which supports them is at exactly the same height as this one. We can therefore say that this section contains one block, two blocks, three blocks, a fourth block in this orientation, and because all blocks must be fully supported, there has to be a fifth block next to this one in the same orientation, and finally, a sixth block underneath, supporting the whole pile. So the purple shaded section actually represents a total of six blocks, even though only four of them are visible. Now consider the remaining blocks which we can see more clearly. Here is a block lying in the same orientation as this one, and you can see one which is directly underneath it. This block is at a higher position than this one, and needs that block underneath to support it. You can see two blocks, one on top of another like this, and another two, one on top of another here as well. So, block number three and four like this. You can just see block number five here, supporting block number six. Block number seven here is in the same orientation as block number eight. Block number nine is easy to see. Block number 10 and block number 11 are also easy to see. The green shaded section therefore represents a total of 11 blocks. 11 plus 6 is 17, so there are 17 blocks in this pile altogether. 17 is represented by answer option B, so B was the right answer to the question. Top tip. Remember... Blocks cannot be suspended in thin air. They must be supported fully by blocks underneath, which may not be visible. Blocks which are supported in this way must be fully supported. In other words, no section of the block is left without supporting blocks underneath it. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, in these questions you have to count the number of blocks in a pile. Every block in the pile is the same size and shape. Some blocks are hidden from view, but you know they must be there to hold up the ones you can see. Select the answer choice that shows the correct number of blocks. In this second similar question, you are going to count how many blocks there are in this pile. The correct answer is one of the five answer options. When you're ready, pause the video and try to count the number of blocks in the pile accurately, remembering that all of the blocks are the same size and shape, but some may be hidden from view. Try to select the correct answer within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, resume the video and we'll check the answer together. In order to find the correct answer to this question, we can take a closer look at this diagram like this. Of course, some blocks are easier to count than others. 
In this corner, you can see that we have quite a complex arrangement of blocks, but we can think about the heights of the blocks and consider what the heights of the blocks must be if they are not visible but still must be present in order to support blocks like this one. As you can see, this section shows us one block which is laying flat on its biggest side like this block, then another block like this, and then another block lying flat on its side. So one which is flat, one which is on its side like so, and another one placed flat. Of course, if we arranged three blocks like that in any order, they would still reach the same height. So if we placed a flat one, a flat one, and then one on its side, it wouldn't matter how we did that, they would always reach the same height. It's important to note this because the blocks we cannot see must still be present and they must still reach the same height as these blocks. We know that another block will be next to this one underneath this part of this block. Of course, if it was laid flat in this orientation, it would poke out at the side here. Consider where this block finishes underneath this one. It will reach halfway like so. So if there was another one in the same orientation, it means that we would be able to see it over here. This means that the block which supports this part of this one must be standing up in this manner. And it means that there must be two further blocks underneath, one on its side and another one on its side, to reach the same height as these three blocks. Of course, the two blocks which are in the same orientation as this one will be at the very bottom of the pile. So imagine stacking the blocks. We would stack one, two, like this. Then we would have a third one on its end like this, but towards this side of this block, and then finally this one on top. There is no other combination of blocks we could use which would fully support this block. Because of the position of this one, it means the block on the opposite side over here must be in this position, and the remaining two blocks to reach the same height must be laid flat like so. We can therefore say that these blocks represent a total of six, and this is block number seven. Block number eight, of course, is easy to count, and that purple section therefore represents eight blocks altogether. The remaining blocks are much easier to count. We can see one block here, a second one here, a third and a fourth all in the same orientation. A fifth block lays like this. Block number six and seven are easy to spot. Block number eight sits on top of block number nine and here is block number ten. The green shaded section therefore represents ten blocks altogether. And 10 plus 8, of course, makes 18. It means that there were 18 blocks in this pile. And 18 is represented by answer option A. So A was the right answer to this question.